So on a recent episode of the podcast, episode 52, I mentioned something a little bit in passing, so I wanted to address it a little bit more. The sentiment I'm about to address has been brought up on and off the podcast enough that I thought it'd be worth going into a little bit. Now, although that episode was mainly about gun violence, it was both right after the Jacksonville shooting that happened a few weeks ago and after the first round of Republican presidential debates, which means that a lot of the Republican presidential candidates were asked about the Jacksonville shooting. I'm not going to talk about all the responses, but I am going to talk about two that stood out to me. First, we've got Vivek Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy is hoping to be the Republican nominee for the presidential race in 2024. He's a younger guy, up and coming, really charismatic speaker. And when asked about the Jacksonville shooting, he essentially said this. He essentially blamed black people for the shooting happening. That was kind of my passing comment that I mentioned in the episode. He blamed black people's obsession with talking about racism and woke culture as a reason for the shooter reaching a boiling point and a mass shooting taking place. And Ramaswamy is not the only one to have these types of beliefs. People like Larry Elder also tend to blame black people for stuff like racism. And I think from a Christian human standpoint, this is deeply problematic and wrong. Secondly, we have Mike Pence, former Vice President Mike Pence. Again, from a Christian standpoint, the Republicans pride themselves on their Christian faith and Christian morals and being pro-life. And I don't just mean as it relates to abortion, I mean as it relates to every single human being. And I don't think that what Mike Pence had to say showed a very pro-life stance as a Christian man and Christian leader. In response to the Jacksonville shooting, he gave a bunch of nods at prayer and his Christian faith, which as a Christian, I agree with. I'm a Christian and I agree with Christian morals and prayer. But his political legislative response was to rather than enforce and expedite gun laws, which people on both sides of the aisle have been advocating for and are actually very united on, instead of that, he decided to say he was going to expedite capital punishment. His words were, anybody that commits this type of crime in the future will have zero chance of spending their life behind bars. They will be expedited, capital punishment, the death penalty will be expedited within months and not years, and they will meet their maker as quickly as possible. Now, I'm not speaking up for the rights of a murderer, but that doesn't sound very pro-life to me as a Christian man and Christian leader. I say all this because I want us to be honest with what it looks like to be a Christian and engage or not engage with politics. I'm not a Democrat, but it's increasingly hurtful when people continue to conflate being a Republican with being a Christian. It's not right, it's not what Jesus would do, and it's hurting the marginalized. But the reality is that although we are living in a very polarized, bipartisan culture, there's actually just a very small amount of people with too much power who are unwilling to do the right thing and make the changes that are gonna be better for everybody. But if you wanna hear this unpacked a little bit more, please check out episode 52 of the podcast wherever you get your podcast right now.